So hey there, welcome everyone guys. This is Ashko from Shambo and I'm back with another dance and tutorial. This time I'm doing a tutorial with, about high scores and implementing high scores for a multiple level game. In case I did a little video for Happy Gamer uh, showing how to do high scores for dancing line, but I showed it for just one level. And while making the video, I thought it's the most really the first problem that's gonna come up while watching the video will be that you whether how to do this for multiple levels so here is the video on how to do high score system for your dance online for multiple levels in the high score system i'm showing the percentage only because i haven't myself implemented any diamond or crown system in the game so let's go we're going to be using player first so if you still haven't checked out my player first tutorial make sure you do that there will be a card popping up right now showing it to you it has a complete detail on how to use player press you will learn everything about it so first of all i'm here in my little scene i'm gonna call it i call it silence the scene name so here is something i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to my die screen uh, script because you see die screen script this is what calculates my percentage so i've already opened it over here now we need to check a few things because this die screen script it is for uh it's a global script this is not a scene specific script so we need to make sure that we know which scene is currently active so for that we're going to use another thing we need to use another library using unity engine dot scene management we can use this and now we're here in the update method or we can do it in the start also let's do it in the start instead let's go create start over here okay so in start we're gonna go let's make a private variable first private string scene name and to make sure scene name dot sorry not this is not a text I forgot sorry scene name is equal to scene dot wait sorry it should be scene dot name I'm um, sorry, I did a mistake. Sorry. Before that, we can go over here, create a scene variable, scene, call it scene itself, equal to scene manager dot get active scene. Sorry, I missed this part. I'm sorry. And now we have a scene variable. For this scene variable, we are using this library, using Unity Engine dot scene management now we're gonna have name from here so now we're gonna go scene scene name equal to scene dot name so now we have a scene name stored in this variable over here we're gonna you can use you know what the case we can check for switch case we can check in switch case but because I actually forget switch case syntax every time I'm gonna go for if else if so over here write if scene name equal to equal to in my case it is silence could be anything I'm gonna write something else over here else if I'm gonna give a condition over here, but before that, let's go to Unity and let's check out our scenes. Which scene is the one I can use? Scenes. And most probably, I'm gonna use on and on. Okay. Listen. Scene name equal to on and on.
between the integrals on and off. There were two different things. And right now, because I've already done a player perf tutorial, so I already have a player perf variable for the high score in silence. I'm gonna use that variable. So, but for that, here we're gonna do. You can write the same code over here, or you can use a temporary variable and write this inside code somewhere later. I'm gonna write it both times. Let's just say float a1. This is equal to player first dot get float. I'm gonna call it high score underscore silence. comma zero the zero is for the default value because first time you played your high score is obviously gonna be zero so so that there is no runtime error we're gonna put the zero over here to create a default value next step we will have to check for the high score over here so if our current percentage is this perk I'm gonna check whether a1 is greater than perk. So for the new high score, a1 greater than perk. If it's greater than perk, we're gonna set a1 per um, the new high score silence player for variable to the current percentage. Sorry, I did a mistake over here. It's gonna be perk greater than a1. So if it's parks greater we're gonna set it to high score so player prefs dot set float high score silence comma park over here park that's it we're gonna copy this complete thing paste it over here instead of silence i'm gonna name it on and on i'm gonna copy this bar paste it over here again on and on that's it i'm gonna save it over here now we'll move back to unity let it get compiled Now we'll need to make a new scene where we're gonna show our high scores. So this is our new scene. Let's go over game. Let's create some text. So we're gonna go up, bring this text up. We're gonna create it up two, two, two. I don't know why I increase it, but let's just skip it over here. Let's. Create an empty object over here. Call it silence. Let's create another empty object. Call it on and on. This text under silence. Call this level name. I'm gonna create a copy. Play the on and on. The same. This time I'm going to move it over here a bit. This is just a demo level min level selection menu, okay? Let's copy paste this. Call it score. I'll move it a bit down over here. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Call it score. Move it a bit down. But this is where we're going to do our scores. So this one's going to be silence and this one's going to be on and on now we're going to need to create a new script we'll call it high score create c sharp script call it high score menu we'll open the visual studio it's ready let's go high score menu.cs now we really don't need star i don't know let's we need to create an array of text variables okay so we're gonna go using unity engine dot 
UI because in the text variables. Please give me a sec. Okay, so we're gonna create an array of texts over here. Text call it levels. Alright. So now we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go through a loop. Alright. So we're gonna go a for loop. Yes, a for loop for int i equals zero i less than level start I forgot how many things are there sorry so we're gonna go sorry we're gonna go array dot length i plus plus so let's go we need to once again check for the names like let's make it like the first element in the array it's gonna be the silence one so in the very first so it's gonna be levels i let's not go for a loop let's just move it let's go manually levels zero let's call it this way the text is going to be equal to player preps dot dot even equal to player preps dot get float I'm gonna copy it I score silence no, just this. Silence. Float. A two equal to. Now, the first text will be a one dot string zero to make sure there are no decimal places but before that I'm gonna add a percentage too so here's gonna be a percentage we're gonna copy this line I'm gonna paste it this time it's gonna be one instead of a1 it's gonna be two that's pretty much it let's go to unity let the script get compiled So the script is compiled. I'm gonna put this high score on main camera maybe. Let's go main camera. Here's a high score levels. We're gonna go two. Element zero is gonna be this score. Element one is gonna be this score. I pretty much done about this. Let's save this scene. Scenes call it level menu. Let's go to scenes. Let's go to silence. Let's play it. And get some percentage, maybe three percent. Hmm. First time, let's see. Four percent. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna go to on and on. On and does it has a? Okay, it doesn't have a dive screen. Or most of it has. It is. Yes, it does have. Let's see whether there are right? park text. No. So we need a park text over here, the screen panel. Park text was a TM Pro text. We're gonna move it. Yes, continue to break. Please. So over here. UI text. I'm gonna call it park text. A little bit over here. Let's increase this. 
I know it looks really bad right now, but that's what we have to do. Let's stop this. That works text here. And I'm just done. I need to know whether I have colliders set or not. You know this. Let's see, I can go hit this place. This has the attacked. They're all tagged. two person okay now I need to go to level menu save and here it should show the percentage when I hit play see silence high score is fourth person and on and a high score is two person so this is how you implement high score system for multiple levels so that's it for today's video make sure you stay safe make sure you stay at home do not go out respect lockdown and quarantine Stay at home, make games, play games, have fun. That's it. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.